Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Sorry about the unglamorous location. <clears throat> uh, I've heard that, believe it or not, Yammy B's been um, looking for me and is in the area. Um, so I've come over to see where he is because I think he's un unhappy with me over a sparring session that I had with his cousin a couple of years ago. I didn't know that it was Yammy's cousin, Joe. And uh, there was a knockdown in the sparring, which I didn't intend to do. It was an accidental knockdown. To be honest, I thought Joe took a dive. <laughs> but anyway, I'm trying to find Yammy. Yammy's in the area. So, um, yeah, he's not happy by the sounds of it. Ooh. I'll check back in a minute anyway. Nice one. I think I see Yammy off in the distance down there. <clears throat> I don't normally film confrontations. I normally try and do it obviously behind closed doors, but um, this is different now, and it? it's YouTube, so everyone else is doing it. <laughs> anyway, I'll check back in a minute. So he's Yami, I've just seen him now. I love Paul, I love Paul. Listen, Matty, I never liked the way that you put my cousin on the floor in sparring. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know he was your cousin. I but what does this mean then? And I thought he took a dive anyway, Yemi. Is it? I couldn't believe you knew him. Yeah, I didn't mean to, to, to floor him. I didn't him. even know him exactly. <laughs> I know, I'll just come from interviewing um, Joe Cipriani. <laughs> but Matty, seriously, you still got to go now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, man? You're right, my mucker. How you doing, Yemi? Good all to right. see you, mate. Uh, good to see you all. Uncle Yemi's just done a little, a little um, interview practice down yeah. there with Joe Cipriani, right? So check, head over to the channel and have a look at the interview with Joe. Yeah. Joe's a good boxer, friend of mine. Uh, there's a video of me and him sparring on my channel. So head over to Yami's, Amazing have a look that. at that. I didn't even know about all that, mate. Yeah, I've sort of known. You went like that, Matt put me on the floor. I went, I did, Yeah, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Oh, he's an inspiration, though, because yeah. the man's coming back to fight in his 50s and all that after missing his career. Tremendous yeah, heart, Yeah, respect man. to Joe. because he really, And tells the truth as well. He's, he's fought Manny Clark, I think, four times. Four times. And that's no mean thing, and, uh, and Manny's in his 50s as well. So. I thought Manny was five years, eight years younger than me. I think he's in his, he's in his 50s. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well. about the same age. Is it, mate? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, big up to, to them too. Respect for that. And then we're going to do, um, me and um, my brother, um, Matt Leg. we're going to do our stuff soon. You don't get ready for that. Yeah. Matt, I've got to ask you a question, man, to clear up a few things. In your personal opinion, right, Lenny McLean, Build a Bomb. I'm putting up a picture of Build a Bomb today, and he's, he, you look at those eyes, you see, see, the, see the truth. Would they... You know what I mean? You're a boxing man, um, man. I was speaking to a man down there. A man walked down there today. Oh, you know Matt Legg. And Matt Legg would have done everybody. I said, yeah, but Matt doesn't really, he doesn't say anything about anything. And street fights are talking. Someone like said that. Boxing. Yeah, <laughs> down there. I swear to God. Right? He said, yeah, I mean, Matt doesn't, because this is their area around these bits. See, I've yeah. been three places today already. But I always believed that I was right with Build a Bomb. Yeah, Build a Bomb. When I went to London, people no, said he was, the, he was the main man. So I mean, he was the main man. Because oh, you've got to think, he had a professional boxing experience as well. Yeah. And to get Lenny deserves credit because he was fighting ex pros without any boxing experience. Yeah. Yeah. So Lenny against professional boxers yeah. would a disadvantage. Yeah. So it's different. Build a bomb was different, wasn't he? I know, because I people can still say to me, but how come his name never got mentioned by certain names? I'm saying because obviously they didn't really like it. Yeah, they kept it quite. He was he was under the radar in terms of public. I know. He never had that big name like Lenny and Roy. How? I don't get it sometimes. Um, but the people who knew, knew. Exactly. I, I, heard, I heard about him when Man. I was a teenager in London, <laughs> I went see. to Cannon Town and someone see. said, yeah. someone yeah. said, Build a Bomb is yeah. the main man. Oh, Django, they said in Django. That way, in that way, Matty, because I saw things, everyone they talk about up there, that's why I don't like to push the issue. I always say what I saw psychologically yeah. and with human behaviour, and I saw the ones that you lot spoke about, and I saw them take a backward step yeah. when confronted by Bill. So to me, it always looked the same, but always, right. I know I got this You've bit, seen right. it with your own eyes. Exactly. Phil Curry as well. Phil, oh yeah. Phil and Curry. And there's deep quarters people that haven't done interviews yet, big names, Uncle Yami, when I get the studio, because we're just doing the practice things at the moment but i'm telling you in deep deep quarters who don't talk about anything they all say the same thing yeah big up bill big up bev we love you i'm yeah. coming to do an interview soon with thing honestly tony Arjun, i Manny think Clark, I, i'm going to see well. everyone on saturday bill's family and uh tony a and yeah. um manny clark yes mate. so saturday that'll be good we big up the you inquirer might, of course yeah ben i'm coming down i'll probably come ben down. from the inquirer yeah i'll probably up, go mate. down there manny clark willie joyce and the joyce family oh yeah 
Yeah. Oh yeah, see, I didn't know that bit of it. Yeah. I might go, I might come down in the weekend, but I'm just out working at the moment. I'm so glad to catch up with my big brother Matt. Man, he's always been there for me through the down <laughs> through the down times as well. But I know he's pleased, Uncle Yami's. Yeah, yeah. We'll put him back on the way. Everything's going yeah. as well as it possibly can. We've had a good uh, little catch up in the um, yeah. in the pub, a little uh, orange juice and yeah, that. I know you won't let me drink. <laughs> <laughs> I know because yeah. I'm off drugs. But um, no, seriously. Cool, me and Uncle Matt, big brother Matt Leg, Uncle Yami, we'll be sitting around the table with him soon yeah. and we're going to bring some dynamite to the table, but with the facts. Yeah. You know what I mean? The reason out, because remember, Matt Leg is a fighter man. I only know my stuff from prison, but Matt Leg will be able to shed light on whether <laughs> I've got this bit right or that bit right. You know what I mean? We'll ask him the personal questions without offense and that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but send him loads of love, Yummy BTV, yeah. and the great Matt. Leg. All the best. <laughs>